I have no idea why this gentleman decided to attack us. Five days after the Antioch movie theater attack, the Carmike Hickory 8 is reopening. Contractors have been on site cleaning and repairing the theater after last week's attack. Tonight's first movie is set to begin at 6.50. Yeah, there are still so many unanswered questions surrounding why Vincente Montano wielded an airsoft gun and pepper spray to terrify moviegoers and police. And many also question what needs to be done to make sure this doesn't happen again. New at 630, News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas sits down with a social worker who has a warning about conclusions being drawn about this attack and others. I mean, that's the story. It's not that this tragedy happened, but it's a mentally ill person. From a Charleston church to a Chattanooga military recruitment center, and now a Nashville movie theater, the suspects share a common characteristic. In talking with Rutherford County authorities, it appears this individual has had uh, significant uh, psychiatric or psychological issues. Social worker Jeff Fleeden is concerned about generalizations being made about mental illness in light of such tragic events. It gives the impression that mentally ill people are more dangerous than other people and that we should be afraid of them. Fladen says that culture of fear could keep those who need the help from getting it. They're going to deny that they have a problem and just try and hold it in because what comes with that label? So we need to reduce stigma, not increase it. According to the State Department of Mental Health, last year nearly 340,000 Tennesseans received mental health services at the state's agencies and nonprofit partners. In fact, data shows one in four adults will experience a mental illness, which includes depression and anxiety, in a given year. That's three to five percent of the violent acts are people with mental illness. So what about the other 95 percent? If we're concerned about violence, we have to look at violence as a whole and understand it and not just point the finger at one thing. That doesn't help when trying to comfort a nation seemingly overexposed to such pain and left to wonder how to keep it from happening again. Identifying the future criminal is not an exact science. We're just not there yet. Fladen stresses early detection of mental illness is key, but it can be hard to get help, especially if you don't have insurance. While those programs exist, the system is underfunded. I'm Andrea Klein Thomas, News Channel 5 HD. According to the CDC, by the year 2020, depression will be the leading cause of disability around the world, only trailing heart disease.